Hey guys, Birdman316 here. I'm going to do a short test on this X15 here. It's been bounded up and everything. The actual camera's going, but we don't have any goggles or anything. Everything's hot wired together, except for the switch does work. This is the X8 HC radio, and we all know one little push up, and we're going to go up just for a little bit. We're going to put it at speed number two. And LVC is on, but yeah. Normally she does hold a hover good. Let's go ahead and put her down. Yeah, when I started the battery, it had like 3.8 volts in it. But I did test it without a camera on it or anything, and it did great earlier, a few days ago. But I guess being that the voltage being at 3.8 was low anyway. And yet, it still pulled power from the battery with you know, the quad and the camera itself pulling power from the battery. It just, uh, being it had 3.8 volts, I guess it was just a little bit low. But anyway, this, this is the stock battery, the 300 milliamp battery. I'm going to set this aside right here. We're going to immediately go into a small test with this one here, which is the X5 SC. I just did the I guess you can say the mail time video, which is actually processing right now on the computer and will be published later this morning before I go to work. We're just going to go ahead and stuff these cables in here and close this door. We're actually going to go up for a little test flight with this one here. And we're not going to run that transmitter there because, you know, it's got the hover hold. This transmitter is actually, well, I got it marked X5C, but still, it's all good anyway. It still works. Bound it up. We're going to go down right to calibrate these dry rows and down left. Well, I think down left calibrates your headless mode heading, but I don't mess with headless mode anyway. Last time I messed with it, <clears throat> it put me into the wall over in the corner. But anyway, we're just going to test this out. We're going to put it at speed number two anyway. Yeah, there we go. It's a little bit of turbulence in here because of the big fan there. But anyway, we're going to bring it a little bit closer. Let you see those props. There you go. Yeah, she wants to drift forward a little bit. Like I said, that big fan in the corner, or little fan in the corner, is creating turbulence. We're not going to be running it very long anyway. Yeah, I believe she's going to be just fine with the FPV, with the goggles and everything. We're going to go ahead and set this down. There we go. That was just a little test. We're going to go ahead and... I'm going to do something right quick. I'm going to put it on the actual floor and do another gyro calibration because the rug it could have been in soft spots the front end could have been down a little bit we're going to go up with it one more time yeah she still wants to lean forward a little bit which in a way is good get it back over this way a little bit there we go Yeah, I believe she's going to be just fine. There you go. She's going to be just fine. Let's go ahead and set her down. There we go. I believe both of these, these birds are going to be just fine. Once we get the FPV equipment on there, the switch is right there, but it's, I don't want to keep monkeying with the switch, turning it on and off, 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 on and off. That would just wear the switch out. So what we're going to do is we're just going to simply unplug the battery and reach over here and turn the radio off. Check motor temperatures, which they're just a little warm because all we've been doing is hovering. Hovering always makes your motors a little bit warmer. But if you're out there actually flying around, 
So here, 500, 500 milliamp. Here we go. Which is in this one. It's a stock battery that came with this. We can run these with 650s all day long, no problem. But anyway, that's just a little indoor test of both those birds. We'll probably have this particular video up probably tomorrow morning or something like that. Like I said, we don't want to be bombing YouTube with so many videos that that everyone can't keep up and everything gets confused and whatnot. But that was a small little test of these two birds, the X5 and the X15. This is Birdman 316. I hope everyone has a wonderful time wherever you are. Sayonara. Birdman 316 here. Let's have a little test of the X15. We have the 500 milliamp battery in there. Everything's been bounded up. Everything's good. We are in speed two. Let's put her up and give her a little test. Get out of the way of the fan there. Trying to blow around. Okay, here we go. Now, the 500 milliamp battery weighs a little bit, so what we're going to do is going to go up a little bit with her. And she seems to be holding pretty good. Check it out. I'm only controlling it with the right stick. She's going down just a little bit, but she's holding pretty good. The barometer in the house is a little bit weird, but I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of the taste of the X-15, so she's going up just a little bit. She seems to be holding pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and put her down now. Let's put her down and hold the stick down, and that cuts everything off. We'll walk over to her and then unplug the battery here. We don't need to worry about the switch here because once you unplug the battery that cuts off the bird and it cuts off the camera. But when you first turn it on you do need to power on the switch. It's kind of tough to get to but it can be done. And when you plug it up the camera is hot all the time it's it's live all the time i just want to do a short little test there the camera is just a little bit warm because it's been hovering in the house let's get this battery out of here it's kind of very gently very gently wiggle it a little bit and then we're going to grab hold of this tab here and just pull this piece of 500 milliamp battery the one that came in the x5 in the x15 now if we were out there over in the field flying around it would have been better because the camera would stay cooler because there'd be air moving across it at all times. And yes, this thing is still working. Still working. It's a 13 minute video. It's the, I guess you can call it the mail time. It's a quad feature. It's got two quads and it has two cameras featured in it. But anyway, this has been a, another little test. I did a little test earlier with a 300 milliamp battery, but the battery was low and it wasn't a fair, wasn't a fair test. It came down pretty quick. But this other test here I just did, which is better because the battery was more charged and it was just better. Well, this is Birdman 316. I hope everyone has a wonderful time wherever you are. Sayonara.